That's a nigga big shit. What? Big shit, big shit, big Name shit. Name another one. Name Hello, man. Podcast, yeah. Like so we <laughs> rolling? Take it, take it, take it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, oh. and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official. Look out now. Miss Jamaica in the building. No, no, my dad walk on. Man, hey, man. Hey, Say, fun. man. Guess what, man? Hey, man, you know what, man? You know, this this guy right here, man, you know, it's staple, bro. You know, the real one has arrived, man. This yeah. guy right here really yeah. one of them guys that he 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 represent culture, man. When yeah. I when I every time that I, I I link with this guy, man, ever since I started this platform now, man, it's just some people you link with and you really don't play about them. Like yeah. well, we checking in, nigga. Yeah, I'm always too. calling to see, man. Hey, man. Man, what's what about this? What you think about that? And he be telling me, and I listen to him too, cause I respect him, man. I respect right. what he done right. for our Appreciate people, it. man. And without him, it's a lot of things wouldn't have happened. Nigga, give it up, man. Got the TV in the building. Man, salute, OG, give it man. up, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Give it up, nigga. Hey, Save, man. It's a celebration. I'm about to pop Save, the bottle, pop that man. bottle, man. Salute, it's going Rose. down. Salute, Rose. Salute, Rose. Not the, not the Rose. We talking about Ricky. You know what I mean? Already, man. Say, man. You know listen, man. That wasn't you got a real one in here, it's man. It's always he a come celebration. popping bottles, you man. Feel me? You know what I'm saying? Celebration. Everybody riding. Hey, hey. Everybody riding. Ain't no sad news. We got good news. Hey, you real good me? news, man. I want to talk about it, man. I really do, man. I'm. Y'all, <laughs> you niggas ain't seen my dad yet. Hey, man, that's Ooh. all good, man. It's Listen, good. Yeah, it's all good. Good. We good. You niggas ain't seen my dad <laughs> when, when gotta right. come. Right. When gotta come, nigga, it's a whole look. You ain't seen me. Look, we hey, collabing around this whole nigga. You, you see, you, hey, man, thank you for coming, man. Thank, thank you, you so for, much for man. rocking the brand too. Man, you know, man supporting man, me, man. Listen, man, I'm gonna support you till. I don't know if y'all want some, but I'm gonna have it right here. If my wife a drink with you, she gonna drink with you. Put it, Put it right there. I'll get it. Let me go yeah, get I'm a cup. I'm going to set it right oh, here because yeah, I don't want to. You feel me? Can you get me a cup, please? Yeah. Come through here? Maybe a couple napkins if you don't mind, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah man. Money Moses. Money Moses, yeah, nah, money Moses in the building. Money Moses in the building. Get it right yeah, yeah, Appreciate yeah. You, money Moses. Man, you know what, man? It, it, and, and deserving of a celebration, man, that brothers can come oh, together. Yes, Sisters can come together, man, and we can do something productive, bro. A lot of people can't do this, man. And they say black people can't get along. They lying, nigga. Man, we be lying. killing it. And, <laughs> I'm, and, no, and I'm actually celebrating, too. Like, not only my artist, Moonwalk, Got he number fifty on the media base radio. Like he 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 above the. I, I don't even want to call names. I'm gonna just say he the Lizzo record we got out is going crazy. Damn, so Lizzo y'all that's big. Mm -hmm. Like it's going crazy. It's going crazy. Lizzo, how the hell y'all link with Lizzo, man? No, we ain't link with Lizzo. My artist Moon Walker has a song called Lizzo. Get the hell out of here! And the shit going viral, going crazy. He got a song called Lizzo. Y'all gotta look this shit up. I now. gotta lit, man. I'm gonna pop. No back. bullshit. Got, dude, you got you got video and everything now. Man, look it up. We had two million views on YouTube on Ooh. the video. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, man. So did you think when it Excuse first me. popped off that it was gonna go hard like that? I did. That's why I wanted it in. Okay. When I heard it and seen it, I said, "Hey, I told DJ Drewster who told me about it. I said, "Hey, bro, I need to sign, dude. Get us on three way." And you did that. Yeah, yeah, and we made it work. Bro, you different, man, when I think about you. I was listening at you. I, was, I think we was, where was we going? We might have been going to Atlanta. And I put in Gutter TV on Apple Music. That whole popped up, bro. I jammed all through that whole, mm -hmm. the whole damn project, bro. How did you put that together? And when did you put that together? I always, um, like, since I was young, I used to put artists together, right, in yeah. the studio yeah. and say, hey, let's record. Okay. And I have producers there playing beats out it. I used to do this with the Rich Kids, with Lil Trill, with, 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 with Webby, with Lil Fat and Future and Scooter. Like, I'm talking together. about all the way to now to Molly and Cash Page and Young Flag and all these people in one room, like Brooke, Lil Brooke and... Everybody in one room, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm saying I always put artists in one room, a whole bunch of them. Wow. And when I do it, I just plan on making good music and shit, you know? Like, a lot of artists be hating on each other. 
So not you, saying none of the ones that I called out. I'm speaking on in general. So like, if you put them all together, let's see what y'all can do together. Since a lot of y'all don't be thinking about working with each other. You that feel is me? big. That is big. That's so that's love, where the, that's where it come from, right there. That part. Of, that's love because yeah. that's the same thing. Like when Pimpin' King came over here and he talked about H H H H L hip hop fraternity. Mm -hmm. For him to put those people together like that and say, I don't want nothing but y'all to connect with each other and we do it in love and peace, man. Yeah, that no, that's a good heavy, idea, bro. No, yeah. Any, any, and, and he patented it. I gotta shout him out. He patented that thing to where. Oh, that's he hard. Own hip hop fraternity. You know his what I mean? His own shit. Yeah. 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 He HHF. That's his own brand, and that's bringing all the hip hoppers together in a way to where they can build and but they still own their own brand. You oh, know? that's hard though. I said, man, this is because you know fraternity sends a lot of respect. And yeah, we've seen a lot of shit, so we want to you know help a lot of the youngsters. Who that's good, I know man. I do, for so, sure. Go ahead, babe. I know you got something. No, I just love. I just love when people can come together and you know it's a brotherhood or a sisterhood. Yeah, it's really just sure. unity. People coming together, not just always just race or because you have a lot of money, you just gonna stay in a certain sect. Because people always say, you know, you want to elevate yourself, stick with the people that's in your category or mm -hmm, higher, mm -hmm. so you can elevate. But how about just bringing us all up as a people? Helping everybody to elevate. Helping everybody elevate. That's right. I like it. Because, I mean, that's what we definitely should be trying to do or get into. Like, fuck with somebody that you see doing something. It don't matter if it's something you don't even know about. Mm -hmm. Like, you might can get in and make some money. Man, you know, I want to I want to thank you first of all for for being able to come down there and meet Bray's face and all that. I love yeah, that yeah, movement. For sure. We got to show love to that whole thing. I know my terabyte got messed up. I don't know if he gave y'all the word. I'm going <laughs> to put it out there right now. And uh, y'all interviews, we are we like doctors. We working on it, man. We got them in the medical room, man, and, and the terabytes are, are, are being dissected. You know what I'm saying? Nah, it's good. It's good. I know. I, they know, you know what happened. It's all good. Okay. But, nah, you know, appreciate you for even coming to our city. Nigga, I'm coming back. It like that. You Nigga, when the grand opening of the store. Appreciate y'all. When the store comes, when can. we open that store up mm -hmm. down there, nigga, watch what I do. So I'm coming about, right so back, tell us nigga. about a store. You said you're opening a clothing store. Mm -hmm. I always Why? wanted to open a store called uh, that I had, right? Mm -hmm. I had got the logo made for it and all this. This is years ago. I mean, like 2016 or so. But why? Why? Why a clothing store? Like, No, I wanted to, because I'm all about hip-hop. Mm. You hear me? So like you see the gutter TV, you see the boss talk, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Hip hop. Like, everything is hip hop. <laughs> We're gonna do some hip hop shit. So I'm saying that to say like, um, I wanted to, my first idea for it was like, I wanna sell every artist shit. Okay. okay. Feel me? So like in my store, if when you walk in, I want you to be able to get, if you like Drake, I want you to be able to get over your clothes. If you like Sauce Walker, I want you to be able to get TSF clothes. Mm -hmm. You like gutter TV, I want you to be able to get my brand. You like uh, Boss Talk, you want to get their brand. It's Hip Hop Store. So is that still a plan? That's still the same plan. But okay. I added something else to it, which was um, like just novelties. You know what I mean? Like I'm gonna have a little extra shit, like if I power, I power. What they call I power? I'm gonna have bad. a little different little shit. Like that. Like you trying, trying, to, like, trying like, to make money? I did that here. I'm gonna hustle some shit now. Like even if you came to me, like my mama got a game. My mama got a game called God Is. And it's like a board game, like bingo, mm -hmm. but it's for Jesus, for God. You God know, like is. yo, it's good too. Where the game's can I get so that? fun. You can't get it right now, but you can. <laughs> no, look, you can. It's about to go for sale around Christmas time. So hold on, so she created this game. She created this game herself years ago, but we she we just found somebody to put it in production and to really do everything. Yeah, but it, it, and around Christmas time, this will be available. God is, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna have Godis.com, uh, all of that. Because I have some, I have a um a board game that is a Bible board game, but and I love the Bible and everything, but the board game man, it, it's it's not a board. Yeah. So, but you can always make it exciting. You know what I yep. mean? You can always make what you learn in the Bible exciting mm -hmm. if you make the game properly. Yeah, no, nah, and still her, educational. Hers is dope in the like her coloring and the design. What have you learned from the game? What have I learned? Mm -hmm. Salvation. Wow. What about salvation? That's heavy. What about it? Yeah. Just you know, just you know, we 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 give a lot to gain a little. You know what I mean? But if you don't mind, then you know you keep going. You feel me? And I'm not saying that's my definition. I'm saying what I learned was that. Like, I didn't learn to, 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 to you know, I didn't learn to be humble for enough time to, to make money every day. And to, you know, like, you got to know everybody got their time coming. 
Mm-hmm. You feel me? So like, That's you gotta learn use certain words and certain things to carry that, and that'll help you like know that your time is coming, bro. Like, you feel me? Like, be patient. You feel me? Like, let, yeah. Let me ask you this, man. Like, like the gutter TV now versus the gutter TV then, the one that was that 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 called Webby that day, mm-hmm. the one that the one that basically was figuring it out versus the one that sit in front of me today. What is the biggest a defining thing about that gutter TV, the difference in the two. Oh, mm. we'll be damn. Mm. Okay, then that's a good question. Yeah, because I'm that's just trying to understand question. what what, what elevated you. You know, know what? Like. When I call, you saying meaning like I called Webby and I was at the house trying to pay the rent. Correct. Type shit. Yeah. Versus now, not the day, the space you in today. I I feel like I don't. I, I feel like I don't. You know, like. All right. Compared to then, I was hungry as far as trying to get in the industry already. Now it's more like in the industry, legendary in the industry, and it's like. Stay in the industry, stay relevant, mm-hmm. and do bigger things. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That other shit you was doing was just some name breaking shit. You did some legendary shit, but do some big shit now. Yeah. And feed the family for life, man. I, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's right. the difference. But the hunger have to always still be there because you, you. That's what a lot of people fail at. They have that hunger to get in the industry or to get anywhere right, they want to get good to. Too. You're and right. then once they get in there, it's like, oh, I'm here, I'm nah, good. You're right. But that's why a lot of these artists fade away because they think that they're good. They be thinking they made it. And they, they be like, it. I'm good. But then after a while, oh, okay, your money gone, your this gone. Yeah. Okay, now you're trying to work and trying to gain that hunger back to, to gain that relevancy. But you made four or five years pass by where people mm. don't even know you no more or hardly know who you are anymore. That's why I said so it's hard to like get back in the game. Be in it longer. Like, be in this shit for 10, 15 years and shit, then talk this shit or something. Like, because, yeah. Yeah. like, your time might be over with the next year, bro. Man. Like, niggas be, these niggas be that. I, I, I finally, uh, I never knew what viral meant. I finally know what viral mean. You feel mm-hmm. me, Mr. Jamaica? Mm-hmm. Viral mean. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you will, maybe it, you won't. It mean, hey, you got a shot. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. Hopefully it'll work out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you will fade away quick right after the viral moment. Man, you know I, what I'm saying? Oh yeah. I heard like, the same you know, thing. It don't take long. Yeah. It, 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 if they don't find a plan in the middle of your viral moment, if you don't find a plan, you gone. But it's good and bad. The good and bad part is the fact that if you went viral from something that you didn't really want to go viral, mm-hmm. then you're happy that it's going to fade away. Like, okay, people going to forget about it. I ain't going to worry about it. I think you know that's like I mean? what niggas like that boom gang nigga. I think they wanted that type of shit. Right. Like I was running around stealing Subway sandwiches and throwing them in the air. And then I think after he got to went to church and did all this other shit and went to jail, they nigga like, man, I want people to forget that shit. You feel <laughs> me? <laughs> man, I really, like I said, I look at you, man, as, as one of the biggest staples in culture. Like, yeah. like that's what this Southern platform is about. I'm very, very biased to what we have down here. Man, and and I, like I said, I just had uh, what Julia Beverly mm-hmm. uh, with mm-hmm. Ozone Magazine Ozone. and all that. And and then to have you here now, man, I'm man, I'm happy as hell. You don't even realize because yeah. I'm for the culture. Now, and it's been it. this way. Yeah. It's been this way ever since I was a kid when oh, they gee, didn't show us no this. love, bro. I see y'all in a different way than anybody going to see y'all because I'm not playing with this. I can't. I, all I can say is I feel you and I, and I, and I appreciate you for that. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you got a lot of characters that. Yes, thank you. You got a lot of characters that. that got it. Oh, already. Hey, hold up. Oh, oh right, damn. Right. She got a heavy oh, hand, bro. Oh, oh, you shit. got to drink it all. Oh, she going to drink the rest. Cool. <laughs> she Jamaican, man. You know them Jamaican okay, things. Okay. They go hard, man. Yeah, this is <laughs> jerk chicken. Look, she, she, she filling hers up right behind <laughs> you, man. Yeah, yeah. All the way up. Hey, but wait, what was the question again? Huh? Man, Girl, I, mean, I, I was just saying OG. for the culture, man, like I just felt, I'm just giving you a, a, a line item of who you are to me and what you mean Oh, yeah, you were saying that. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I was just saying thank you, but uh, 
You was asking what it mean, basically? Yeah, like, yeah kind of like, but I just really was just giving you roses, man, your flowers. Oh, we going to continue to do that because at the end of the day, I was saying, you know, Julia Beverly, she came by. Uh, I've had a lot of people in here, even Say Cheese. Everybody I had in here, mm-hmm. this is for the culture, man. Mm-hmm. Don Chief, the one with, with Finesse Two Time, he mm-hmm. came over here after that. Mm-hmm. You know, you seen it? Mm-hmm. Like, this is for the I culture, did. man. Like, it ain't, and, and, and a lot of times, niggas think we sticking our chest out. Nigga, I'm just reporting the history of the way this is going to lay out. Once you look back, back, you do your thing. You know what I'm saying? When you look back, you got to be able to look back and understand what was going on at that time. Man, this ain't my last time here. Man, you and your family, man. Stop. I'm coming down down there. We're going to keep running this shit. I'm coming down 30, nigga. I'm coming to see you. You all ain't got to worry about that, Jack. (laughs) Me and Money Moses, Miss Jamaica, and team. Nigga, you know how we roll. We coming, man. But just loving everything that you bring to the table, man. For real. For real. Appreciate it, though. Did you have uh, anything else you want to talk about? Yes, sir. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's next for you? Because I know you 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 say you're gonna start doing a lot of um, traveling, doing interviews, and so forth. Where do you see yeah. that taking you? What are you trying to gain from this? Well, I wouldn't um, say that I was just gonna do that. Okay. I suggest. <laughs> I said that my partner Mark from Create Music Group. Okay. Salute my brother Mark. Mm-hmm. He the coolest white boy I know. And shit, he know this business like the back of my hand, which is my hand is black. <laughs> the back of my hand, he know this shit. And when I talk to the youngster, he young, you feel me? But he run Create Music Group. And when I talk to him, I listen to what he got to say. And he listen to what I got to say. Mm-hmm. It's a respect thing because niggas know I know what's going on too. And I know this shit. And I don't mind giving you game either. You feel me? But he told me that I should do that. And I, like do interviews like this and shit. And he said, man, you can't just keep that shit to yourself. He ain't say it in just that Zach worry. He said in his own way. But that's what he was saying. Mm-hmm. He like, bro, you can't just keep all that knowledge to yourself, bro. Tell these folks that shit. Even if it's from knowledge to memories. Right. Tell these so folks, So are you going to be making a run with it? Or I mean, this my, my run right now starting with Boss Talk. Right, you know, and we appreciate like, it with Boss Talk. I'm, I'm, Maybe. Tr- we like, don't know. Like, I seen uh, Boosie lock in with Vlad. That's I right. want to lock in with somebody. You with the best yeah, right now, to be honest with you. I'm in with Boss Talk with Miss Jamaica. That's what we and doing. E. And Money Moses right And Money Moses, you know. And ain't nothing y'all can do about it, but watch us go. We're gonna be over here having a damn good time. Nah, Every time we yo, popping bottles. It's good vibes over yeah. here. <laughs> it's good vibes man. over here. Now I appreciate you for even, you know, thinking of us in that level, man. Nah, for sure. With like you. shit, cause it's a lot of people do interviews now. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, shit, I wanna fuck with uh, bro now. Man, thank you, man. Because like I said, when we first drug you, you dealing with the ones who my wife put them letters on the wall. That nigga right there drug this table up in here with me. Mm. We put this TV up together. You mm. looking at the three people who, that's what people don't get. This is, a, this is real, like. It's family. This crazy, ain't it? Nah, that man done put a start on my car. Put an alternator on my truck. Uh, he knows some shit. Yeah, yeah, like we family, family. Like nah, we, that's hard, though, how you put your shit together. And, 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 and it's just us. It like that's that. it. Mm, I salute and, and it wasn't nobody that nobody knew like that. You it know, was, people scared to do this. Really? Yes. <laughs> People sit up and they think like, man, I want to start a podcast. I want to start a podcast. I want to do this. And they don't do it. They don't. When they don't sit and think like, damn, I got 3200 in my bank account and I got like 600 in my pocket, okay? And then I got, okay, all right, I got 30 I got like, and my bills paid, all right. Boom, I got like four grand. Damn, okay, let me call Guitar Center. How much this shit cost? How much this? Let me go to Best Buy and see how much a camera. All right, damn. Man, I can get in the game tomorrow for like twelve hundred. And that's exactly what he did. Ball that's, exactly what he, that's exactly what he did. He went to uh, Guitar, Guitar Center. Guitar Center. Hey, did I know that twelve hundred? He, 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 he never told me this. Nigga, I spent a grip, nigga. He never told me this. But spent, I'm just saying, you spent any money? You just went in there, priced out everything, and went in there to see what it was. There you go. Talk that shit. Tell us what happened, man. What's the bill, man? You said he he. That's what he did. Yeah, we was together the whole time. Come on, man. And that's what I'm saying. You could have spent six thousand, OG. You could have spent out there, out there, OG. You could have spent sixty thousand. You feel me? Yeah, I could. But I'm just saying, like. I want to be right. That was the 
that's the play for the youngsters out there that's trying to get in the game. Like, go ahead and don't be scared. Get in. But you, you got the money. You can do it. You can afford it. It just take a little heart, heart and glory and a little, 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 little hope, a little guide. Sweet. You know, and a lot of God in a in a in a in a, in a little uh, little hustle. That's what I was going to say. You came. You came at a time when it wasn't popular. Yeah, for sure. You came at a time where yeah. it wasn't something that everybody was doing. Mm -hmm. Now, I came at a time when I had seen you guys do it, and I had seen Joe Rogan and different Let me tell you how I knew it was. Hold you on. guys would, what, you, got, you did it at a time I'm when it wasn't popular. I knew it was. It wasn't popular. It was so new that I had the 7D Mark uh, camera. The 7D, at the time, it was only the Canon, Canon 7D and a Canon like 5 Mark D, some shit, right? Okay. Man, I had that shit. And my partner DL Productions had it, right? Uh-huh. And hey man, yo Gotti, Jeezy, all these type niggas, Trill, L L Big Mel, Turk, Webby Fat, Boosie, all that, Trill, everybody was trying to get their own camera because they seen me with it. So that's what they felt like. They felt like, I seen it. It was like a, if I get the camera, maybe I can just, I got the look, so I don't need gutter. Like, I ain't got to keep paying gutter, you feel me? But they got the camera and they realized that bitch was just sitting up in the closet. They're like, nah, nigga, this shit is bigger than just a camera, nigga. It's me, nigga. Feel you, me? You, yeah, but so that's how I kept working around the shit too. But no, nah, it was the beginning. Yeah, like, so, so I'm saying it was such the beginning that I made Yo Gotti and them go buy a camera. They probably looking at me on the road, like, you know what? We gonna buy our own camera. They probably had they, you know, niggas had their own meetings. Niggas like, how can we cut the budget? Yeah, nigga, we got to pay this nigga. Yeah, like that's <laughs> 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 you can't blame him because the nigga do. Yeah, no, no, no. You can't blame but see, him. But get what? When you cut the budget and you like, I'm gonna just get a camera. You like damn man that and nigga got the, the streets he was yeah. he was helping us i just you know when i really look at like what you done during that time like like i remember being uncomfortable when i would go places and the camera be around because nobody else had a camera but us yeah you know i did this years before this and people be just looking then i got to feeling like i don't care i'm gonna record because i just felt like i didn't know why i was doing it but I just know I always gotta give you a little bit and then you don't know what it's gonna be. But yeah. you already, like, so I'm already editing on different stuff that had none screen flow, all type of stuff that didn't have nothing to do with boss talk. But I knew when you put forth a little effort, God will show you the rest. Man, for real. Yeah. Man. That's crazy to say that. I ain't even wanna be in the camera. When you first started doing it, I ain't wanna be in the camera. I was behind the scenes the whole entire time. Nah, yeah. man, salute everybody that wanna do this shit too. I'm telling you, cause it's some shit that, man, you should go do. Like without thinking yeah. about it You should just do it Pick that shit up And go do it bro That's what I did Did anybody ever tell you Like you know They don't want you Recording in certain rooms I've been told I, that. I never been told that Except one time in my life I was told right? that I was told I that, 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 that the mic up. Go ahead I was told this shit One time in my life Gucci man told me that <laughs> What was you at Listen man? When I say I was pissed I was pissed <laughs> off No lie what he did? Where was it at Can we talk about it Yeah we can talk about it <laughs> We was at Patchwork In Atlanta Okay and um, at the studio, that studio. Okay. And, and everybody was there. Young Thug, you know, Jose Guapo, Hood Boss, Lil Duke, motherfucking. Everybody was in there, right? OG Boo Dirty. Like, this one Gucci Man signed everybody. Young Scooter. Okay. So, saying all that to say. I walked in the room and I've been knowing niggas. I know everybody, you know what I mean? But I, I walk in the room and I get over there by Gu <laughs> Gucci and he say, oh, gutter don't feel this. I said, what? <laughs> I was thinking to myself like, what? Nigga ain't never told me no yeah, shit like yeah. that. I felt, I ain't gonna feel a trip. I ain't gonna lie, I felt a little funny. I was like, hold on, nigga ain't never said that type of shit to me. To you. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna lie, I left. Yeah, you Pee, was, Pee Wee Longway was there. I went to see Longway. Yeah, out of everybody, we, we, I went to see him, and I felt like Longway. I was like, damn man, like shit, like you know what? I'm gone, bro. And it wasn't even no thing. What it was was this: niggas was in there having shit, right? And Gucci had just got out of jail. Yeah, he just like a nigga just got out of yeah, jail. Yeah, he, he was paranoid. He yeah. was like, I don't want this shit on camera. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
You feel yeah, no, me? Yeah, no, no, I get it. And shit, I respected that after I got older. Yeah, to think I'm about saying it. not at that moment. At that moment, I was like, man, niggas tripping. What the yeah, hell? Yeah, yeah, you know what I do, feel nigga. feel me? But at the, at the, at the, at the, it wasn't nothing I made public or nothing. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, nobody yeah. knew this. Yeah. This was my own personal no, no, feelings. No, 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 I get it. I ain't get in my feelings or nothing. No, niggas no, would have no. never knew this. But I'm saying that to say, I did, though. Nigga, that one time. That one time. The nigga yeah. Gucci told me, don't feel no, nah, gutter. He said, no, nah, gutter, cut the camera off. And I was like, what, nigga? The fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? But then I was slick man. But I was like, I was like, hold on. Yeah, but yeah. I'm like, fuck that. That's what I do, shit. Nigga, I'm good at TV. Yeah. Nigga, like, don't tell me that, nigga. Don't tell me what I to do. I feel like I'm bigger than the, the rappers in the room at the moment. I ain't not on no big head shit. It's more or less like, I, that's just how I feel about myself. Yeah. So, like, I just felt like, nigga, like, damn. But I wasn't mad, like, on no mad, mad shit. I was tripping. I was tripping myself. <laughs> I was a young nigga. I'm 22 or something. You I'm 22. So you yeah, yeah, I'm 22. I'm high as fuck. Probably on Zans and weed and shit. And just lean. And you know, nigga said something, I'm probably tripped out. I'm like, man. But it wasn't like it was no altercation or nothing happened. Nothing happened. It was just like when he said it, I cut the camera off and I walked out for a minute. And I stood by the vending machine over there in the uh, little break room. I told my partner Rock, I said, man, Rock, let's go. Oh yeah, you twenty two. Yeah, what you gonna do? Lucky you know what didn't saying? do nothing else. See, but let me let me ask you this though, like, and 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 not to jump seven. We're gonna stay on Gucci, but like, I know you you and Dolph linked up in a different way, mm -hmm. but Dolph and Gucci was cool. Uh, when was the first time that you did you ever link with both of those at, guys at the same time? No, I didn't. Never did. Nope. You just knew Dolph and you just knew Gucci. Hell yeah, I knew that's Dolph, crazy. Like a motherfucker. And Gucci a real nigga. This tattoo on my arm, Gucci paid for it. Oh yeah, I'm taking my. I swear boy, to God, that, that boy, this it, true true story. They don't even it, it, Gucci paid for this tattoo on my arm. I don't know which say? camera to put. It say loyalty before royalty. Oh, Lord, he paid for that one. King Toast did the tat in Atlanta. Why would he Gucci, pay for your tattoo? Cause he had me, Southside, KO, Wu, Slim Duncan, everybody. He told everybody that was fucking with Brick Squad and that was in Brick Squad to come. He he he, he to pick some of us up or whatever. And we went to the studio. I mean to the uh. To the tattoo spot, shit. He paid for everybody' tats. That's crazy. So I got he this was tat doing right stuff here. like that. Yeah, Gucci paid for this shit on my body. Gucci so, man paid for it. He like the real, real nigga. But he always been the type of person to try to include everybody. I would say for sure. He always had niggas around, and the niggas that was around was always superstars. But they, even if they wasn't big, it you feel me? Uh, they what, turned out to be super stars. When was were you around when when because this was early early on? Man, I was around. I came around right after I'm fucking, saying I, right after damn near. Uh, I don't want to say right after icy, but I'm gonna say like bricks. I'm gonna say that but all did, white bricks. So did you have whoever paying attention to this shit around the bricks time with Nicki Minaj in the video, Young Ralph, that was I was there. Everybody know that there was a, a, a murder that happened or, or, or a self-defense attack, whatever the case may be, and it's old yeah. news now, but yeah. but how were you able to have a relationship with Jeezy and Gucci during that time? I mean, I'm a player and I'm a gangster, so at the same time, I'm saying that to say, like, if I got around Jeezy and they was talking about something, I ain't elaborate. I don't jump into conversations and say... Da, 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 yeah, or da, 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 or I ain't no nigga you can ask shit like, hey, what them niggas doing or this? No. So when I get around Gucci, it's the same thing too. Like you can't ask me what no, I'm not no no commentator or none of that type of shit. I'm not no nigga that's finna elaborate and laugh at shit like a nigga might say that nigga that fell or something. Like I'm not finna laugh at that shit. I'm a gangster, bro. Like I don't, I never got into it. So that's how I could still fuck with Gucci and Jeezy, but still know that it's some real shit going on. But I just don't get involved. You feel wow, me? Like, like, that's heavy, like, yeah. cause there's a lot of people that every time they see a beat, that's they feel like they gotta play. pick, chuck, pick that's sides. That's cause niggas and all play. That. Niggas pick sides and then niggas elaborate. The elaborate get you more than the picking sides for real. Fuck picking sides, cause the the elaboration come from the picking sides. That's how you pick a side, elaborating. And when I say elaborate, I mean like we all in the room and a nigga say something about something that happened to a nigga. So if this nigga beefing with this nigga and something happened to this nigga and a nigga and y'all all in the room and you a neutral nigga and you a neutral rapper, a neutral manager, cameraman, anything, and you in the room and a nigga say, oh man, well that nigga got uh, hit up. Man, that shit was funny as hell. That nigga da 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 da. I'm just making some shit up, right? If you laugh, 
or say like, yeah, that shit was lame. Uh, you know, you 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 in, you in it. it. You in it now. You pick the side. You bitch ass nigga. You feel Damn. me? And that's how I, I never got involved in it. Wow, I never. think that stand up. You know what I'm saying? And I did one one time. You can only find one clip of me filming some shit that I damn near not even. I don't want to say regret filming. It was more or less just like filming some shit that I didn't care for doing because. I was caught up in the moment. And I'm saying one time out my whole career though. Wow. And I when I say caught up in the moment, I mean more or less like I probably was broke as fuck. When you broke as fuck, you do broke shit. Yeah, I don't want to stir it up so, for something you ain't now. I ain't got to bring it up or nothing, but I was, you know, sometimes you do broke shit. You do stuff that you like, damn, I shouldn't have even been in that room. Niggas be broke. So, okay, so you 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 got to understand that I, when I when I interviewed uh, DJ Ace, he talked about the whole situation before when he got uh, he had Jeezy and uh, Gucci to perform together. Actually, DJ Ace in, from in, Atlanta. In Atlanta, yeah, mm -hmm. I interviewed him, and he was he was telling me about which one that. though, South Paul DJ uh, or the other one. I think it was Gucci Man's, uh, uh, the one that did the DJ and with Gucci Man. Is he, he bald head? Yeah, he went to school with the Gucci. The South Paul DJ. Yeah, yeah, he went oh, to school. He, the one. he went to school with uh, with Gucci. Mm -hmm. They went to school together. And he, he know about both of them. Yeah, he told me that he brought them together. And he it was almost like it looked like it might have been to where they were trying to blame him for somebody's car getting broke into. He was giving us the, but he said he's the only one that put them together at that time, and they done so icy to this new time when they had went and did it. The, the, the verses. Yes, and that no, was crazy. I, never, I was like, I that's crazy. About them together, so, or seen them together. Did you know DJ uh, Ace too? Yeah, yeah. That's, Ask that's DJ Ace about me. That's, that's my, real. <laughs> I called him on the phone. That's my boy. And he, and he hosted my tape. Like he did. when I was rapping, he hosted my mixtape. But he was my boy though. Like he seen me come from Lil Rock. Okay. Gang banging, rapping shit just by myself solo. Like nigga, he he respected it. He like, bro, come to my club, wherever he was at, Chit Chat or this club or that club in Atlanta. His dad did the music or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was he he always sound system. Yeah. So you know, DJ Ace, yes. That's wild, man. Because like I said, I just thought about and that. I know both about the Gucci Aces. and Jesus. two DJ Aces. Okay. This is another DJ that's on the road with Jeezy right now. But okay. I fuck with him too. He a real nigga. He been in the clubs and everything forever. Wow. So yeah. it's just something when you come up in during that time and you you got so much, you just got a lot of history. I could talk about anything. When when Gucci and uh uh Waka Flocka uh fell out, mm -hmm. uh you knew both of them. Yeah. How did that affect you? It didn't. You didn't even you just didn't I get thought involved. About it. You know how you sit and think your own little shit at the house. Yeah. You be like, damn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you like don't want to see these niggas against each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you don't want to see it. Yeah, yeah. Fall out. Huh? How many people you seen fall out that was cool with each other? No, no, I want to talk about this woman I mean, thing for a second. I, I don't want to get off of it. Too, but, but I, I got you on that. I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> but, but I'm just trying to figure out because what, I, what you saying though? Like, I was a Walker fan, felt. nigga. When he called Gucci, was pumping him up. Nah, listen, he was a shooter and all though, this stuff, and it was like, saying, okay, I love both right, of these. But niggas. I was closer to the Walker. You was? Yeah, yeah. So at the end of the day. I was with whatever Walker had going on anyway. Oh, you too. was close to the Walker. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, but I'm saying it wasn't even like that. Like I chose no sides, man. It was more or less like I just let them do them. I didn't even get in that. They were um, like brothers, right? Yeah, I ain't getting that. I feel like I feel like when niggas that close. I feel like eventually they're going to get back cool one day. So if you stay out of it, when they get back cool, y'all will still all be good. We'll all be good. So I don't get in that type of shit. You feel me? Like, <laughs> I ain't getting that <laughs> shit. You, do you meet Deb during that time, too, when she yeah, was mad? Yeah, Deb. How yeah, was that relationship yeah. being that well, all of them? Miss Deb. Miss Deb. Yeah, 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 yeah Miss Deb. I never got to meet her, but I did Nigga, request her I done been in the studio before. Picture being in the studio session with Slim Duncan, Frenchie, Walker, Woo, Nigga, uh, French Montana, uh, Nicki Minaj, Gucci Man, nigga, uh, picture everybody pin in this, in, in this session. Wow. And Dev in that bitch running, directing shit. Like, Hell and nigga, that's why I respect Dev because I do her job now. Back then I was a cameraman. Okay. But at this, at, so me watching that, learning, I, I feel like I learned a lot of shit. And I ain't gonna say from her, but I'm gonna say from a lot of people yeah. like her. Yeah. yeah, like watching her, she running the whole room. The whole you room. You got all these nine artists in here, and everybody might not be super famous at the moment. Yeah, but they turned out to be big. But I'm saying that to say, like, think about all them names I just said: Nikki, Frenchy, Slim Duncan, Walker, Gucci. That's a lot. All these people in one room, right? And she in there telling folks like, "Hey, hey, you." 
you Mario, which is slim dunking or something. You go in the booth right now, or hey Waka, get up, go in the booth, or 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 or, or sound rocking like Miss Jamaica, rocking it. No <laughs> lie, sound like Miss Jamaica, damn damn, rocking and it. And she telling Gucci, Gucci, go in the booth, go get on this, or they p- p- songs played and. I'm telling you, this shit hard. Crazy, man. That's, yeah. the, that's the history. Now, back to your question. How many people you say have he seen uh, fall out? Oh, yeah. And How many people it's have been you a seen bunch. Very I mean, I done seen too many, man. It's hard to even. You <laughs> feel me? Put a number on it. You feel me? Right? It's like, say, like, but it's different. It's like, it's a lot of this shit is brotherly and sisterly love, so you got to stay out of it. Say, like, Jay Money. One of my best friends nah, in the yeah, music business. Shout out to J Money. I can't wait to First name, last later. name. J Money and Young LA. They super tight since the first day I met them. But they fall out all the time. Right now, they super tight. You feel me? Like, they cool as a bitch, right? But I'm saying that to say, like, why would I get in the middle of that and not talk to Lay or not talk to Jay? Because they into it. Fuck all that. They're my boys. When Lay into it with Jay, I'm still cool with Lay and Jay. Man, that's real. And they know they can call gutter. They like gutter. And even if they talk about each other, they know gutter don't give a fuck. I ain't trying to hear that shit. Because I got my own opinion about niggas. That's how I, I talk You to, know what I'm saying? I, I talk to Bobo, and uh, he's a Leo. And I always ask about Bun and Pimp C. You hear rom- rumors about they had their differences. Like, they brothers. That's mm-hmm. what they always say. And and they was brothers until, you know, until Pimp C passed away. And there's certain things that people refuse to speak on. I just, I've always, yep. I value the fact that people understand, hey, man, I can't get in the middle of two brothers Ooh. getting into What's it. What's Young LA like biggest hit? Ain't I? Ain't I? And guess what he say? Don't I be with Jay Money serving everybody? everybody. That's, right. That's the biggest line of the song. Yeah, yeah, sure yeah, is. yeah. <clears throat> they can't escape each other. Damn, you feel so me? <laughs> <laughs> like you got to perform this shit for the rest of your life. <laughs> Feel me? Yeah. And that's everybody's favorite line. Yeah, yeah. So I'm saying it to say, like, man, they brothers, man. Why would I get in the mix of they shit? Never. Man. They're my, both my niggas. I, the fuck? I, you've been seeing they it. They can beat the day, and I'm still fucking with both of them. Now, if it gets to some real shit and somebody do some hoe ass shit, you know, shit be different. But fuck all that. We ain't man, going even, that deep. Even when Easy you know what I'm saying? Easy and, and straight out of Compton, you could tell when he passed away how they came back together mm-hmm. because of their brotherhood. You could tell the, the movie depicted, but really life depicted it. Because when you really care about something and you started with somebody and they go to, they pass away like that, you, yep. it gotta hit you. Man, death it and, gotta and hit real you. shit, gangster shit, jail time, all that shit yep. can bring some niggas together. Exactly. And then Do- DOC lost his voice during that time. All these things are trickle effects of yeah, bringing yeah. men together that basically already had a hell of a relationship. A little money got in there, well, a lot of money got in there and caused confusion. But at the end of the day, the 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 death and the and and the and the, and the, and the the the, the 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 car wrecks and the life. The the life. 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 life is real, bro. Life will make you life make real, stand bro. Stand up straight. Life real. That, I try to tell youngsters, bro, too, because niggas always holler at me for info, right? Yeah. So I be like, bro, look, just wake up, think about money, think yeah. about God, think about your family. Yeah. And then go do whatever you do. Rather you work at a job, rather you kill for a living, rather you sell weed, rather you were you, you were going to school. I don't care what you do. I'm saying, but wake up, think about them things, then go get it. But man, have a respectable mind too, because mm-hmm. karma real, shit come back. So how you put it out, gonna come back that way. Feel me, or worse. Mm-hmm. But at least if you put it out a certain type of way, it might come back where it don't kill you. I'm gonna tell you how I always think about that. Feel me? I always say, if you gonna do something bad, make sure it's, it, it's for a good reason. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell make sure yeah. For a good reason, yeah, bro. make sure you hit that motherfucking bank at the time that it was time. <laughs> Yo. It was time. Exactly. It was time. Don't do it for no reason, bro. Do it for a good reason. We damn near lost everything. Exactly. <laughs> you you had to. Yeah. Don't do it for no reason, bro. <laughs> hey, well, hold on. One more thing before we go to the next subject. Future said, me and my partner, Superstar Peasy, I love you, nigga. That's my nigga. That's my brother. Superstar Peasy, we always used to say back in the day, Future said, uh, I uh, on honest, he said or something like, "I hit that lick cause I had to." Like he say that on that song, and me and my nigga used to always talk about mm-hmm. that shit. Like, cause sometimes you do some bullshit on when you got to. Yeah, when you got to. Yeah. You got to tell me about Shardy Low. I'm a big Shardy Low fan. Shardy Low. Yeah, just your relationship with Shardy Low, cause I I still to this day talk to his son. Me and his son talk. I call him and check on him, man. Uh, you know, cause he lost his mom and dad. And what, what you want to know about Shardy Low? Just, like, just when you met him, like like. 
How was it doing business with him? Because I know you link with him on business. Yeah. Like, like what type of dude was he? Like, Shawty Low was the coolest rapper that I knew at that time. Okay. So when I say that, I mean, I knew for a fact if I oh, called Shawty Low, he was going to answer the phone. Real talk. I knew he wasn't going to be scared to tell me where he was at. Real talk. I knew uh, 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 he didn't mind breaking bread. Mm. So if I told him a nigga wanted a feature and he said, give me 2500 I knew I could tell him, hey, low, I charge him three. And he going to be like, cool, you just, I'll give you your 500 after you pay me. I knew that type of shit. And then I knew his homeboys was real niggas, the Braskies, the Lil' Margs, and the Fabos, and all them. Them niggas love that nigga. So I didn't mind going around a nigga like low. You going over to Born Home back in the All the time. Nigga, I've been in the boy home. I just told you the or the a big deal. Somebody that I've been in the project, every yeah, project. Every but project. nigga, I didn't been in the boy home of projects when they when they, I don't even think they there no more. But no, I used not. to be there all the fucking time. So uh, let me in they little traps and shit. Like, nigga, I'm there. Low got the Bentley parked outside. I gotta ask you this because I think about Pimp C son and I think about uh, Charlie Lowe Jr., man. For those two guys, because because you a dude that think things through and you've watched you watch the hip hop game, you watch, you know our culture, and those guys are trying to you know uh, get the, keep their 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 father's legacy alive. Mm -hmm. uh, Charlie Lowe Jr. Uh, he he wore the D four L chain. Uh, good kid, man. Like, what advice would you have for a guy like that trying to? Trying to push that brand forward, he just he just getting rights back to his father's, you know. Uh, state. Yeah. Well, I could say two things. Okay, I say one. Before the advice, I'm gonna say this, cause this is what I want my son to know. Fuck all that, boy. Your daddy was a real nigga. Okay, I don't yeah. give a fuck what happened. I don't give a fuck. A nigga left you a million dollars, or a nigga left you a thousand. Boy, your daddy was a real nigga. That's 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 love. Yeah. Nigga, everybody daddy, nigga, boy, got jackets. Yeah. Niggas' daddies got jackets. Yeah. Because our daddies was selling crack. Mm -hmm. So a lot of them niggas told. Feel me? Mm -hmm. Man, your daddy was a real nigga. Your daddy was the type that my partner ain't had no money, but he was an inspired rapper. And he said it, he want shot he low on his song. And low got on my nigga song for free. Low did the video for free. Lo just told my partner to pull up in Boy Homes. And when he pulled up, he did the video for free. In the song, nigga. And this is true story. This ain't no shit I'm making up or talking. So if you want, nigga, that's for you, nigga. Nigga, your yeah. daddy was a real nigga, boy. Shawty Lo was a real yeah, nigga. Man. Yeah. Like, and when I'm saying that, I'm saying it like, bro, dude was a player, bro. Like, he just was cool. To be around, hang around. Yeah, you know, like how you can pull up on a rapper and then you, and you would see him in a Bentley or something, and you would think that he the type that you could get in his Bentley. You damn near could, if not hit a block, he gonna let you ride around the corner with him or something, you feel me? <laughs> like, yeah. bro, we're solid. Solid, solid. Yep, so I just I always... say that. But I say on the other end, hey, bro, use your fucking last name, not your first. And that's oh, what I want to tell my son. Use your last name, not your first. Yeah. Boy, my face card good. Anything I ever done, even if it was some bullshit, it was gangster. So niggas respect it. Wow. That's real. And nigga, I done showed a whole lot of love. I done put a lot of people on. A lot of people say that shit all the time, OG. They say, what they say, E? They say, uh, talk to a real OG nigga that got a lot of money or something. They gonna say, you ain't nobody until you actually put somebody on. I done put a lot of people on. That's real talk. A lot of people. Let somebody get on this motherfucker and say, I ain't helped their career. They front, they heart hurting right now. They breathing hard. They like, damn, I'm really in here front. Oh shit, I'm front. <laughs> Man, you came front on this. I was there. I know for a fact. Not only did I record it, this shit facts, bro. I'm telling you, money Moses. It ain't no nigga not all the way from two chains to whoever that can front on me. Nigga, just like I called two chains every morning and said, "What's up, bro?" He called me every morning and said, "What's up, killer? You coming to the studio?" Wow, how was like like? You feel me? Some good shit. Yeah, you got. And that's my you nigga. Break that down. I love that nigga. Two chains, titty boy. That's my dog. You feel me? Him and his, me and his relative, nigga. That's my dog. Yeah. Yeah. You you and two chains, y'all y'all basically spent a lot of nights in them studios together. Hell yeah, we did, and I never forget them. 
It don't matter how what he done did or what he done done or how much we talk. I never forget that shit. You, you and guess what? And at that time, he wasn't having a whole lot of money. So guess what that mean to me? The shit we was doing was pure. Real yeah, talk. So Feel you, you made it to Titty Boy. Hell yeah. So so what did you think when he changed his name from Titty Boy to Two Chain? I loved it because he was. If you knew him back then, you knew he he the type nigga that. He the type of nigga that he made five thousand look like five hundred thousand. Okay. Yeah. What, what, what? So look, when I when I say I ain't talked to him in five six years, and then I see shows like the expensive shows where he sipping gold tea or this or that, I'm like, damn, that match that nigga. That's what he gonna do. That's him. He expensive. He the type of nigga that he in the trap eating exquisite meals. That's how he used to talk and act. And shit. Like he a player, but I, real street nigga. How did he like link up with the too. other the, the short dude that was with him? With Dollar. Him? Dollar. I met Dollar in Atlanta. Player, gangster. Like, like how what I, you do is this. What I tell niggas is let's not even talk about Dollar or none of that. Dollar, a gangster, and a real nigga. It's just like uh, what's the nigga from Clips? Malice, yeah, push yeah, the T, brother. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. saw he came out on yeah, the woods. He came too. What I'm telling you is the same thing with every nigga that's like that. So if you don't see niggas around, like say a nigga, say push the T blew up and Malice didn't, uh, two chains blew up and Dollar did. That don't mean nothing. Them niggas players too. What I'm saying is it just happened. God working mysterious ways, bro. Wow. You feel me? Them niggas still there though. I guarantee you, them niggas is still there on every end, whoever it is. And them niggas is players. It wasn't no thing like none of them niggas fell off or none of that. Hell no. Nah. Like, God just working mysterious ways, bro. Sometimes he got our hand, his hand on us. All the time. He probably grabbed to this boy like, man, you, I like you, nigga. He probably said, hey, after you did this song with Lil Wayne, bro. I just want to bless you, bro. Wow. I want to make you a solo. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you how bad I want to make you a solo artist. I want to, I want to, I want to, uh, and this God talking. I want, I want to change your name. Let's reinvent you. Titty Boy was probably scared at that moment. And it's the moment I'm knowing him. He probably was scared, like, oh, 2 chain. I got to be a whole new person. People ain't going to know me now. You know, people know Titty Boy at least. At least I should. You think I, because that's how I talk to God. Yeah, like, yeah, dang, yeah. you think I should change it? Yeah. You feel yeah. me? Mm -hmm. And God will tell you, like, yes. Yes. And if you believe him, oh, my God. He's going to show you. Oh, yeah. my he God. He's going to show you. No, listen, money. Sometimes you can listen and he's going to tell you. You feel oh, me? I know. Yeah, but sometimes you got to listen, though. He don't speak hard loud, Hey, no. I was just been telling you that. I told him, I told him I, the other day, I was like, bro, I hear him talking all the time. But yeah, he did listen. say that. Yeah, that's right. I told him, Nick. <laughs> What's good? I hear him talking all the time, but I don't hear him listen. I mean, I don't listen. I, I man, see it on your face. I just, what no, you think, no, I just, man? I understand. Am man. I going too deep? No, no, no. You tell him, you tell him the way it's supposed to be told. And everything you're saying is, is true. So, really, really, truth is, it, it, it can't coexist with a lie anyway. Either one got to take up that space. Mm -hmm. So, I'd rather be truth. Yeah. You know, I just really when I when I think about just you and all of the people you've dealt with, I ask you about these people. Did you ever deal with Cash Money in it? Uh, Birdman, them, any any of those guys, Young did, Money, in them. How was, how was that? And Bird how did y'all link? To Slim. How? Birdman and Slim. I linked with them through my cousin Sid. Okay. My cousin Sid, a preacher now, but back then he wasn't no preacher. He was he was in the streets. Okay. And that's why I'm, you know, I bless and that's proud of him. You feel me? Because he a preacher and a pastor. Man, that's but good stuff. He was in the streets of Santa to say he knew Birdman and Slim and he knew, uh, it was another nigga that used to hang around Birdman and Slim. Man, I can't think of his name. But he told me that if I, I had an artist at the time named Eastside Shawty. He like, look, I'll let you meet Birdman and Slim, bro, if, if, uh, you just shoot me this little change. Shoot me this little change, and I'm going to put the play together. I shot him a couple racks. Nigga, I had a couple weeks, me, Big Jack, Eastside, we was in Miami, nigga, with Birdman, talking to Slim. Wow. How was yeah. that? That's how I, that was my first encounter with them. But I had, before this, when I was youngster filming, I had I already knew all the young money people, the gutter gutters, little twists. Wayne's the, the uh, 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 Mac Mains, all them. I knew all them T Streets, all that type shit. Yeah. But how was the conversation Short with, dog, with, with Birdman them. And them? Like when you got there to talk to them or just to be around when them? When we got around, around them, that shit was love. I realized they didn't want to sign my artist. Not saying they didn't okay. like them. They, excuse me, they fuck with them. But I realized the situation probably wasn't what we needed at that moment. You okay. feel me? So okay. I was like, nah. But I'm knowing this is slim. So I'm like, I need to link with these niggas. But that nigga talked to me for two hours, two, two hours. days, two days, three days. Every day he talked to me. But guess what happened? I ended up coming back to the Little Rock. 
my relative, he like, what you think about these artists right here? And I'm like, what you think about them? It was AMP. He was like, what you think about them? I'm like, shit, I like them. These young niggas hard. Damn, the city don't really fuck with them, but I like them. So guess what? Boom. I put the play together. He linked with them niggas, send them niggas to Miami to meet with Birdman and them. Birdman signed these niggas. Damn. So I put that whole play together, and them niggas still to this day probably don't even know I put the whole. They know. Fuck all it. They know. Yeah. No, I'm saying they know for real, but I'm saying, I was saying they probably don't know because I never made it public either. Like, I didn't step in the front and say, hey, you know I sent Birdman them. I ain't give a fuck about all it. I just put the play together because I knew they had talent. That's real. That's yeah. what. And they got a deal and everything. They on Birdman album. Look up the Birdman or Rich Gang album. You'll see AMP where I was at and all that. These niggas got signed by yeah, Birdman. Signed like yes. That. Do you think and that I put all that play together? There's a lot of rumors going about when you go over there, going over there with all the stuff that they say, and I think it's a lot of bias stuff too. I think that everybody over there rich as hell, but at the end of the day, you hear a lot of people talk about the South, and you you hear people speak about Birdman and the deals and and all of the different things that go on with cash money. Did you feel any type of way going over there with all this back? Hell no. Nah. When you <laughs> when you a manager that's trying to get it or inspire artists that's out there. You don't give a fuck about none of that shit, E. Fuck all that shit a nigga saying on a nigga jacket or name. I want Unless know. it's a nigga like 6'9", bitch ass, then you you ain't going... <laughs> like, say a nigga call you, say you blowing up and rapping, right? And a nigga call you and say 6'9", I want to sign you. You should be like, man, fuck dude, bitch ass. You feel me? <laughs> but I'm saying, no say way. if a nigga call you and, and it's a somebody else. Nigga, it, it, it don't matter if they got in a fight back in the day or they lost this or that. Nigga, niggas fucking with him. Yeah. So I'm saying, nigga, you what you was gonna tell me, E? Don't go sign the, don't sign your artist to uh, Birdman. Nigga, I would have told you this cash money, E, you tripping? Hell no, yeah. I ain't finna tell you that. So I'm I know. saying that's what I was on. Yeah. Nigga, this Birdman is slim. <laughs> I don't <laughs> give a fuck about who else had problems with them. My problems gonna be different. I'm a real nigga. <laughs> but I just look over there and look at all the people that that they made millions. I at. didn't care. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you right. Like I, I don't thought you was gonna say the people that no, they fucked no, off or something. No, they made hey, a lot of millions. That's what I want to get to. Cause like like I say, if I go to a uh, anywhere and I have no money, they yeah. make me a millionaire. How can I get mad? How, how much they made off me? Oh no, I never understand. <laughs> they made me a millionaire. <laughs> you know the part I never understand. I never understand is what we agreed to at the beginning. Exactly. You signed, we already you agreed it. to this shit. How the fuck is we mad later when we agreed to this shit, E? Bro, I'm glad you're saying it, because I told his brothers the other day. I was like, bro, if you sign a contract, nigga, you sign that contract. I'm not make you sign that contract. Yeah, what? You sign but it. guess what so the problem you, is? Hold on. So I like, if, if they get fucked, that's on them. They got fucked because they signed a contract. Real talk. You don't make them sign a contract. Real talk. They did. No, guess what the problem is, though? The problem is everybody be broke. It's back to the broke. Yeah, that's exactly They're what broke. It is. So you, you don't see nothing. You don't see the contract or nothing. Even if you see the shit that it say, it might say perpetuity or it might say some words to, that you can't. <laughs> You eat. Uh, it might say yeah. some words, right? Hey, what's your, what's your grandma's favorite TV show? <laughs> Lifetime. <laughs> it might say some shit. Eat. Life? And you yeah. might be like, ooh, that 40,000 look nice. <laughs> I got it. Let's go. 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 let us go 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 so if anybody even ever came here, because I think I said in an interview with one of my artists, you ask Molly or somebody how they got out their deal, and they ain't say nothing about no lawyer no, or daughter. No. But I say this, shit, the hell are you talking about? <laughs> All that work me and my lawyer you put in? All the money I had to pay my lawyer and shit? The hell are you talking about? I hell you gonna not mention us? Because because they don't understand? Yep. Just like shit, don't, understand. don't just say that they just let me go. Fuck, no, they didn't. It don't happen like that. They tried to keep you. And they try Me to and Brandy got you out of that. How is it hard? Is it hard hearing all the backlash or people not I don't acknowledging even it? Care? You I just, don't care. I don't care no more. You know why I don't care? 
because I help with future them and all them. So if I'm be, I can't be mad at them these new little kids. I'd yeah. rather be mad at the niggas that's big as fuck. Yeah, you have. See what I'm saying? Well. Like Southside. When I told you Southside, oh, that was Big D. Yeah, but when I here. told Big D that Southside seen me and he went crazy, like, damn, this nigga gotta. Yeah, he was there with my career. He helped me. He did it. When I said, I'm saying that you feel me. Yeah. So yeah, you feel yeah, me. That makes sense. Like that make a lot of sense. As long as niggas show love like that, I ain't doing no tripping. But shit, if you act like something happened that didn't happen, that ain't cool either. But just know that shit. Majority of the time, it's somebody in the background that's helping put everything together. Yeah, always, everybody else always. just rapping and just always. talking them a lot of times, bro. And a lot like, of times, you, got, you niggas gotta, in the you background keep, putting shit together. You feel they're me? not gonna ever change their situation if they don't change their thinking way, pattern anyway. Because it's gonna put you back in those same situations same until situation. you start to understand. How yep. to give and take and deal with people in a way to where you don't get caught up in the the movement or the moment so much that you don't understand the algorithm. Well, you know, I ain't get a lot of shit when I was younger too. So that's all I be saying. That's real. That's why I don't ever put nothing up public or be tripping about it or nothing. Cause I didn't know when I was younger, I was on some bullshit. I'm a, I gotta ask you a couple of more things you know before we before I get you so. out of here to gutter. I, I gotta ask you about being in some of these dangerous places that we talked about, yep, the Boeing I'm homes and all that. that. You too. ended up, you was at a party, uh, finesse two times. You say was was was, was, was headlining. Okay. I, I just want to ask you, like, to be in a situation where how many people did you say got shot? Twenty eight people got 28 shot. Twenty eight people got this shot. On record, this is guaranteed. I was there. So and this, this was in Little so Rock. This facts. Yeah, hell yeah. The club called Power. And 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 so, did you put I didn't that hear together? About it did you put it together? I was in there. No, I'm saying, did you put the? the I didn't the, put that event together. That was somebody else's event. But my artist, which my entertainer, she was hosting it. But 28 people. 28 people got shot. Did anybody pass away? Nobody died. Whoa! Damn. Yeah. <laughs> nobody. 28 died? people got shot. Nobody died. That's a blessing, Say I went man. To the same hospital. Everybody, <laughs> listen. Let me tell you how facts that is. Crazy. On my way home, as I finally got out the club, I'm driving home. I stay out far, right? I stay yeah, out yeah, far. Yeah. I don't stay in the city. No. So I'm driving home, right? I swear to God, this on my life, e. I'm driving, cars, boom, flying past me, boom, ambulance flying. Everybody flying past me because the hospital exit coming at the UAMS. Wow. They getting off, right? Getting off on the exit, and I'm like, damn. Just like what you just said, kind of like they all went to the same. They all went to the same. I'm like, I'm like, damn, that's the same people I was stepping over. They going in the. You know <laughs> no, what I'm but, but but you don't. You just I in apologize there. to everybody in the building too. You can't expect a, a real nigga or no nigga or a fake nigga. I don't give a fuck any type of nigga. You can't expect no white nigga, no no kind of nigga to stop in the middle middle of chaos to help you. No, nah, because everybody you know trying mean? to live. No lie, nigga trying to get out for his life. So come on, man. Let my me, son was at home, bro. You trying to get home. I'm like, damn, I'm just fucked up. I'm in here, bro. Man, and, and so you hear the shots ring out. Yes, sir. Did I'm it seem stage. like brrr, I'm on stage, like, bop, bop, right? Bop, bop. I'm on stage, finesse going off. This why finesse did the five years too. Oh, this in the same. This the same reason why he went to jail to do damn, the five years. So this the reason why yeah. your boy went. Yeah. So he doing he he on stage. He doing the song, riding in the rental car, the strapping, the laughing, drinking. The hey, we on that bitch lit in the club. But it's so many crips and bloods in that bitch that it's hectic. You gotta realize, DJs, whenever y'all playing some gangster shit like that type of record. It's a lot of gang members and gangsters in this club. Like always so know that that type of music turn us up. And guess what he say in that song? Come on, man. I ain't trying to be no detective or nothing. Shit. <laughs> I, I, I feel know. like I'm on that type of shit now, man. I don't even want to finish it. <laughs> you but but I don't say it. The nigga say, don't. if a nigga say he don't want to kill me, then why the fuck is I ain't dead yet? Yep. Nigga, we in Lil Rock. Everybody in this bitch like, oh yeah, you bitch ass nigga. Why I ain't dead yet, <laughs> nigga? Like, that whole crumb. You feel me? So I'm saying that to say like, life real, bro. You feel me? Music good. Mm. That's why I love music. Guess what? Music good, bro. Music good. I don't listen to music no more. But like, I, I, wanna, I gotta, I, do. I gotta I ask you. This I do too. Day, every I want to ask you about. I'm gonna tell you what. Do you I think? Don't. Hold on. Do you think that Travis Scott thing that that because that happened at you know here recently? Talking about what them niggas fell out and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. When they, what about that? Like, like, like when when the club get in a chaotic that state. That got shit to do with with the shit. I, I know it, but to. I'm saying the that shit. I went to nigga it was where a hundred shots was going off literally. But somebody died at theirs. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they did. People died. Did die at that people shit. died but at people theirs. People died from falling out and shit. I ain't saying nothing different or wrong. Yeah, yeah, about yeah. It. I'm yeah. just saying like, 
that's a different type of chaos. But it's still chaos. Yeah, it is still chaos. It's a group of people. But guess what? I'd rather be in a motherfucking crowd, people pushing me around and shit, and I'm pushing people up off me like, bitch, get off me. Bitch, get off me. I be pushing motherfuckers off me rather than be in a motherfucking club and they shooting. And you don't know which way to run. Yeah, I've been there. And you're on the second floor and you don't know how to get out this club. And they just shooting. And they just shooting. Drunk, shooting. Everybody shooting. Nigga drunk, too. All right. I'm trying to, how the hell he get blamed for it, though, bro? That's the He got crazy blamed part. for it because he the name. Remember this. I always talk about the face card being good now, but you said it was a bad to it, too. Remember, that's the that's bad. That's right. That's right. That's one of the bads. Sometimes this face card is bad. Yeah, it's good. It give me a lot of free shit. A lot of people fuck yeah. with me. A lot of people be pulling up on me, giving me that's shit, good. all that. But sometimes if I'm in the room and say, like, niggas go to jail with a whole bunch of drugs or something, if I'm in the room, they know my face or they know my brand, so now I'm the fucking kingpin or some stupid shit. You feel me? I'm just saying, like, that's how this shit works the majority of the works. time. I know how it works. It's, it's that face crazy, card. Though. Like, that shit lame sometimes, too, nah, bro. That, that face card so some people don't want all that fucking up. shit sometimes, man. That shit weak. Nigga, like, damn, just because I'm known? Yeah, I'm, uh, this the last. You feel me? This the last. And question. if niggas gonna get in the conspiracy, get a nigga that year in the day. Then get a nigga on out of there. Yeah, don't be trying to lock a nigga up for all this extra shit a nigga ain't did. I gotta ask you this before you get off this this panel. This is your last question. It's a big one though. Uh, you you like I said last time we talked. This interview never came out, but you said you put the uh, the uh, you, if there's any TV mm -hmm. outside of MTV. Okay. It was gutter TV after MTV. There That's was right. no other That's blogger. Right. There was nobody else that was doing this. But That's then right. you 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 hear the chaotic. You hear the the the, the chest sticking out. Uh, uh, seem like uh, you you go in on, on on say cheese a little bit. Yeah, I'd you know? be having fun. I, when you did this, okay. Because he ain't never reached out to me. He should have reached you, out to me and been like said, what's up, said, nigga? Though, what do you he think he said, bro, you the GOAT, just like everybody else say. He know that you was before him. Come on, man, stop playing. He know this. Come on, man. Bro, I can vouch for that. No, no, I'm, I, I, I know this guy. Your, 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 hey, your, your resume can't be yeah, denied. Yeah, but what you saying, though, G? I'm what's just up? trying to figure out, like, like, did you ever, you ever show him some love? Look at <laughs> what you say, OG. Did you, did you ever? Twenties. Did, 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 did you ever? Did you ever? Did you listen? Did you ever? A lot of business. Say that's costs. a lot of bread over there. Know what I'm saying? Nah, what but, you say, OG? Talk you, to me. Did you and him ever like, like, like y'all mm -hmm. ever been in the same room together? I don't even. No, never. Never. Never been in the same room together. Never, let me, never OG. No, no, so if you guys have never been in the same room together, mm -hmm. you know, and you you've been doing this longer than he has, because it was it's been a few people that say different things with Sean Cotton, yeah. you know. But you and him both dope in y'all movement. Y'all both around. Do you mm -hmm. remember him making noise when you were doing your thing? Never, OG. You didn't hear him making noise when you were doing your thing? Never, OG. For how long before you heard him say cheese? Uh, hold on. There's a lot of <laughs> shit going on. <laughs> say how long before you heard him say cheese? Oh, I'm say asking. cheese? Yes. When Molly came around, I was mad, too. I feel like she brought around a hater. I don't like so people when, bringing when, around when, Okay, so was he like, trying to so speak? Was he talking to her or trying to, to get her. in her ear about no, something? No, that's just on some Arlington shit. And that's a black card, nigga. You get your yeah, black card trip, up. Don't <laughs> Nah, don't trip, don't trip. But I'm asking you. I got though. a lot of debit cards and credit cards. But, but, this but, shit is a lot of them. Like, <laughs> it's a lot of shit. That's a lot of scammers. But Let me put the shit back in my pocket. You got to tell me about that. see that. Like, what made you mad the fact that you say you should, you didn't want to bring the hate, hate, hate around? Because, like, man, I don't know, OG. I don't even like talking about bro. I don't know him. Okay. I don't okay. know him, OG. That's good. That's good. I just know that. I just felt like. Well, when you jumped on I the just internet, like it kind of put you in a place this where the, people ask you thing, those OG. questions. This the thing, OG. A lot of people know where shit come from. Feel me? Like, say like when you gang bang. Yeah. You be, how you gang banging and you don't know who your OG is. Yeah. You don't know who these niggas that was banging before you. Saw how like ac academics put that old clown shit. I seen it. And then that. you saw how uh 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 LL Cool had to get up. on his ass. Yeah. Cause you know why? Cause LL Cool J still one of the rich niggas. He ain't playing no so game. So you can't talk to him about that broke shit. You can't talk <laughs> to him about that broke shit. <laughs> Don't talk to him about that broke shit, OG. I'm saying so. Just pay homage to the niggas that you seen do it before you. That's all. I feel you. Niggas don't even hate niggas. 
niggas pay, like your niggas. I, you, I pay homage to you and the say cheese when when he was on here. I respect Man, you. I respect I don't him. Even like fifty. Somebody just got me. This. <laughs> Them motherfuckers feel like bad luck Same, sometimes. I'm gonna feel like get that shit both away. Both of y'all, when I when I got you on this panel, bro, and, uh, even when when he came on this panel, Man, it's it was a blessing, wasn't it, bro? It's an old one too. OG. What, do you, what do you think about it? Cause I know money most I'm just always. saying, OG, the only reason why I don't fuck with it, cause bro, I ain't paid homage. Pay homage, bro. That's it. I ain't got too much to say about wow. it. Pay That's homage, bro. Said it. Just like if my son watched your shit, my son need to know my daddy wasn't trying to get no homage. Yeah. Pay homage, nigga. God damn, nigga, you saw all that legendary shit a nigga to put out. And guess what's crazy? I still make more money than all these niggas off of old footage. Wow. Don't you know WeTV and 50 Cent, Mona Scott, just hit me up the other day and my team, Joe, me and my uh, manager, Joe, just hit us up and said, get yeah, what they want. They want old footage from Gutter TV. Guess what they finna do? Pay this amount, thousand every 30 seconds. Wow. That's love. And it's good. Guess what Oxygen it. did hit me and said, oh, you got, we finna drop this documentary. We want to pay you thousands of dollars. Please just give us some footage. But you got to understand, I'm the only nigga that was filming Futures and the Gucci's and the Jeezy's and everybody. So, who else got that footage? I was going to ask you about that old This shit too. is expensive. <clears throat> yeah. Fuck all that old new ass shit and these new ass people. This shit I got like Face on Love talk about. I got residuals, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and my catalog long. I got a lot of hit records under my shit, nigga. Yeah, yeah. A lot of hit records. Right now. I just told you about the Lizzo record. Wait till the remix drop. Niggas gonna be like, oh shit, Gutter got a banger. Wait till the remix drop. But let me I'm just saying I got I a lot of hit records. This. I got records all the way from 2006 on my BMI, on my pub, bro. I got people trying to buy my catalog right now. But can I say this? I gotta say this, Gutter. With the I got some hit records, OG. I know, and I ain't talking about the footage. I'm not even talking about no footage. Fuck a footage. Fuck Gutter TV, any DVD I ever put out, any of that. I got hit records. I got some records. I got some smashes. I got some money on my BMI. Let, let me my say shit this. Lit right I, now. I gotta say this with you and him both being dope from the South, man. You're in the South. That's where you reside. You know how powerful to be for y'all. Gutter TV and Say Cheese TV to come together, man. You know how much like Pimp C. You know how much paper we could see. You know what I'm saying? If we if we could bring that 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 those two. Those are big brands, bro. And they both in the South, it. bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he'll do it. I just, you never know. Man, with God, all things are possible, bro. I, that's why I like having the conversations. You well, know what Just I'm know that we all get money. That's right. So don't never make it about the money. That's real. Make it about the legendary shit. That's what I'm that's talking about. Shit to stick. That's what I'm talking just about. Just know that my name is in that motherfucker. Get what that shirt say right on your motherfucker, on your wall. Nah, that the, motherfucker gonna say go to TV. That motherfucker say living legend. legend. Living legend. Cause I'm still here. Motherfucker giving my flowers. Motherfuckers doing songs called gutter and shit like that. They doing them type of songs. You gonna be big songs and shit. Man. I'm here. Thank I'm you for, for the link God to, God to Webby good, too, bro. man. Thank you for that link to Webby. God good, man. Life good. You know, I, I don't want nobody to think I'm mad at them or hating on them. I love yeah. what people got going on. Y'all both don't. Like, like how I fuck with your shit, OG. Thank I you. I watch this shit. Like, Thank bro you. shit. I watch bro shit. Yeah. I watch his shit. Watch. I don't watch a lot of it. He okay. don't interview a lot of people I like watching. Yeah. Oh, this one here lit, I man. only okay. watch the shit. We Listen, I don't hate on no podcast or nobody. I don't care if it's a million dollars worth of game. I know why I love them, but guess what? I don't watch all that shit. Yeah. And then, like cut, and then when they cut, and then when they cut all the old commercials and shit, and they be talking about the, the vodkas and all that, man, I, I every time they go to a commercial, I go to another interview. I go to Boss Talk or Beehive or somebody. Real talk, man. I ain't it's got sad. time for all that shit. This shit gutter. We're gonna keep this shit gutter because this how this shit started out. This shit didn't start out with niggas in here trying to make this shit all uh, MTV and all professional and shit. If you was doing uh, the gutter podcasts and the shit in the gutter and the gorilla freestyling yeah. filming, yeah. nigga, this shit was gutter. Guess that's what me and Future came up with back in the day with Scooter and everybody in the studio. And me and, and my Mexico ran and niggas like that. We realized that this shit was a movie. Future used to say that shit to me. He used to be like, Gutter, that shit you got last night was a movie, nigga. And what he meant was it didn't matter who was there, 
I'm finna make it look like a movie when I put it out. It could've been 10 people in the crowd, but I'm gonna make it look like it was a thousand. You feel me? A real movie. This shit is what it is. So quit making it about everything else. This shit is about memories and motherfucking and, 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 and catalogs. Memories and catalogs. That's it. Quit Man. making this shit about money or anything else. Cause it's about memories and catalogs. The catalog is the money part. You feel me? Man. Cause nigga, I'm telling you. Got a TV. Every, every, we TV. Oxygen TV, own TV, every TV you know, then pay me and paying me. Who lose? Netflix, movies, Damn. Paramount Pictures. I talk to all these people all the time. Stars Productions, and these people know me, and they don't call me Demarcus. They call me Gutter. Gutter. And well, well, I, I can't let you get off here. Before I'm just I, saying that to say the TV I, shit real too. I want to. I want to know the name of that store. What is the name gonna be again? Which what's that? My the store. store the new my store. store gonna be called the Hype. The hype Which it is The hype Meaning uh, I ain't got no meaning to it really It's just the hype It's that's like hype. That's, You feel yeah, me yeah. It's the hype I just wanted to get that in there man How can people get a hold of you If they trying to link I ain't really no nigga Like I told you last time OG I ain't no nigga That you really can just link with like that <laughs> I don't trust niggas I don't like really niggas I'm a nigga that you gotta <laughs> meet like at the, you. you gotta meet me at the Exxon And be like Hey go to TV What's up bro I'm trying to fuck with you bro You the goat You the If you link with me like that I'm gonna fuck with you If you don't see me like that You can't get me You can't send me no DMs You can't do all the other weird shit You can't get a referred You can't do none of that shit You can't I'm not that guy I'm the nigga that you gotta know nigga And if you don't know somebody That's a real nigga That's finna tell you I need to fuck with him You ain't gonna meet me Sorry to say I said I was gonna meet you At least probably like 10 years ago Yo. You met him, nigga. At least I had to. See, I had Yo. to figure out who's behind Real the talk. camera. Who's behind the camera when uh when uh Lil Fat came to uh, one row. Oh, that's I all. Who's behind the camera? Yeah, that's that's Monroe. Monroe. I knew it was good to Bro, that was a hell of a trip. Monroe with Lil Fat was a hell of a trip. This right here should get you a million views. I give you a story. Okay. Me I knew and Lil it Fat. I knew it. Me and Lil Fat, coming. bro. Bro, there. me and Lil Fat, bro, we knew that we was going to Monroe, right? This one of his last shows he did. Mm-hmm. All right, look, I can't even count. This is his last show he did. Wow. Me and Lil Fat going to Monroe, right? We knew that we had a lot of shows because eventually when we got that first call, people called, nigga booked them for 5000 at a show. Next thing you know, another nigga called, booked them for like 3500 Then another nigga called, booked them for like 4500 We got three shows in Monroe, Louisiana in one weekend. Wow. Nigga, we pull up in Monroe, we go to Southern Fried Chicken, some mm-hmm. shit like that, classic. South. Southern Classic Chicken. We go there, motherfucker, eat the chicken, we go to the shoe store and shit next door, we kick it, uh, like that whole trip. We go to the projects, we go in the project, kick it, we listen to niggas freestyle, the whole hood come one out. Way in, one way All out. this shit, one way in, one way out. This is real true story. We was ready to go to Monroe, we had a good time in Monroe, we kicked it in Monroe. Guess what happened in Monroe, though? Remember I told you Jay Money got shot? Yeah. While we was in the club in Monroe, we kicking it, right? We kicking it. Everybody in the club in Monroe vibing and everything. Lil Fat come up to me. True story. I love my little brother. Lil Fat came up to me. He said, Gutter, look at this. He give me a phone. On his phone, he say, and he ain't no nigga that really talk. He a gangster. He sure not. He a hitter. He him. So he gave me the phone in the middle of the club like, look at you. This is what he said because he got a slick voice. He like, look at your boy. He just got hit up. I'm like, what nigga? What you talking about? Cause he a young nigga too to me, yeah, so I'm like, yeah. what? I look at the phone. J Money yeah. got shot nine times. Damn, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn, damn, my nigga Jaden got shot. So I wasn't even feeling it no more in Monroe. The whole time in Monroe, I was off. I was, but I had a good time with Youngin. You feel me? But when Youngin Fat showed me that the, the 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 tweet or whatever it was, I was sick. I was thinking about Jay. I was trying to get back to Atlanta, but uh. That's crazy. I love Monroe to the end. I love that time, bro. We had a great time, bro. We had three shows that night. I got them all recorded, and we kicked it at every show. Every show's packed. Little fat fuck with it. Ross Diggity tell you what he like, had on. He had on a white t-shirt with some hooping shorts, or some shit like that. Yeah, cause he was just he he and he, he had a he, he could had do a, that. He'll wear them Jordan shorts with some Jordans and a t-shirt, and he'll be that wow. nigga was the flies young nigga man. And a car full of guns. Man, come wow. on, man. <laughs> wow. Man, thank you so much for coming on the show, man. Yep. We love you, brother. Hey, man. Yep. Eno- and you coming back. It won't I be long. I will be back. And I'm, gonna come back. I'm coming to Arkansas. Come back to Arkansas. I, I got to come to Little Rock. Check it, man. Salute it's- the South Side. Ay. Salute Little Rock. Salute Ay. Gutter. Salute everybody that repped this Gutter TV shit. My family, Jump Man, Soup. Deal 187KD Salute Bear my, my son You know what I'm saying Salute my family Mama gutter Salute everybody yes, my, You know what I'm saying yes, This shit sir. is real Like Same, I love my man. people Sonny what to do You know what I'm saying Like ugly money You feel me This was what we doing Man it's you been another me? great segment Boss Talk 101 What a yeah. boss talk Boss talk